Oh, contact! Right there inside the crash. Gillen is in it. The one car of Truett, the 17 car of Kenza. Mark Martin getting his car woed down. These guys are three wide off the corners on a real green racetrack, uh, racetrack. Probably pretty slick. And look at this. We've took out one, two of the chase contenders already. Martin Truex hoping for a caution so he can get back in the lead lap. Looks like he was the caution. Oh, man, I see you. Come on around. I know you're junk. I see it. I'll show you what happened here on the restart in the corner. Watch a 21 car. Looks like Michael, Kenny Schrader got alongside Michael Walter, but just got loose. Spun the car, and they all start spinning to avoid him. And look at that. They just all pirouette side by side. The 17 car, the 38, the one car, the double zero of David Rudiman. They're all in valve. That now it's all smoke. Nobody can see anything. They keep plowing into it. And when you're a driver, that's your worst nightmare. Where you can't see when you're going that fast. Now watch Tony Stewart in the 20 up behind the one. Let's see how he's able to snake his way through. Wow. He got up underneath that one car, but it looks like he got through clean otherwise. It looks like Tony's got the top of his fenders. A little bit of damage right there. But Kenny Schrader just ran out of room underneath Michael Waltrip in the bottom. Exiting turn two, and boy, that is the worst spot to get loose. And he did. 38 car Gilman was trying to get blowed down, and the double zero Rudiman was behind him. From Michael Waltrip's on board. In the left for a quarter panel with Jimmy Johnson just a little bit trying to get down in that corner. Clears it, doesn't do any damage there. But underneath him out of your left side is Kenny Schrader. And this is where Schrader is going to get loose. And this happened behind Michael this back. 